The topic of this video is building quadratic models from verbal descriptions, economic models. We now continue the previous problem. Okay, so we've completed parts A and B. We're now up to parts C, D, and E. Part C says, what is the revenue if 144 units are sold? So I've placed the result from part A here in blue and from part B here in green. The equation from part A allows us to find the relationship between X, the quantity sold, and R, the revenue. If someone gives us one, we can find the other. In part C, it says, what is the revenue? In other words, find R if 144 units are sold. In other words, x is 144. So plug in. r of 144 is equal to negative 1 8 times 144 squared plus 22 times 144, which equals. All right, order of operations says I should do 144 squared first. So negative 1 8 times 144 squared is 20,736 plus 22 times 144, 3,168. Okay, now we have to be careful with the fractions here. Multiplying by 1 eighth is the same as dividing by 8. So I'm going to do 20,736 divided by 8, then make it negative, and I get negative 2,592 plus 3,168, and then add those together, 576. Now, 576 what? Well, this is our revenue, so this is $576. So when 144 units are sold, the revenue is $576. Is that the most money that we can make? Maybe, maybe not. Let's move on to part D and find out. What quantity X maximizes revenue? What is the maximum revenue? All right. Well, we have this equation that tells us the relationship between revenue r, also known as r of x, and x. r of x equals negative 1 8 x squared plus 22x. The problem uses an extreme word like maximizes and maximum. So your job as an algebra student is to recognize that when you see an extreme word like smallest, largest, minimum, maximum, Verify that your equation is quadratic, because if it is, the vertex will help you find the answer. So is this quadratic? The answer is yes. ax squared plus bx plus c. And in this particular instance, a is equal to negative 1 8, b is equal to 22, and c is equal to 0. So if we can just find the vertex, that will give us everything that we need in order to answer both of these questions because one coordinate will give us the x, and the other coordinate will give us the r of x, the revenue, also known as the y. All right, let's plug into our vertex formula. Our vertex x is equal to opposite b over 2a, which in this case is going to be negative 22 divided by 2 times negative 1 8. Now, we've got to do a little bit of fractions math here. 2 is the same as 2 over 1, and then that 2 over 1 is being multiplied by the negative 1 over 8. So we're going to get negative 22 divided by. Now, 2 and 8 have a common factor of 2, which means that this can be reduced. The top 2 can be replaced with a 1, and the bottom 8 can be replaced with a 4. So then this entire fraction is just 1, and anything times 1 is itself, leaving me negative 1 fourth. So I have negative 22 divided by negative 1 fourth. And I'll choose to put the negative up here with the 1. Now, how do you divide fractions? You keep change flip. So this is a negative 22 times a 4 over negative 1. Negative 22 is not a fraction, but we can write it like 1. Make it negative 22 over 1. 
Now do the multiplication. Both of my denominators are 1. Of course, this one is negative, but a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So I just have to multiply the numerators, and 4 times 22 is 88. So the vertex x is 88. That answers the first question. What quantity x maximizes revenue? x equals 88. As for the second question, what is the maximum revenue? We need to use the same scale that we used in part C. We now know a value of x. We just have to plug into here to find the corresponding value of y, also known as r of x, also known as the revenue. So we plug in and we say r of 88 is equal to negative 1 eighth times 88 squared plus 22 times 88. Using the same steps as before, 88 squared, 7744, 22 times 88, 1936. Multiplying by 1 8 is the same as dividing by 8. So 7744 divided by 8 is 968 and then make it negative. So negative 968 plus 1936 gives us the value 968. 968 what? Well, this was our revenue, so it's $968. When 88 units are sold, it will bring in the maximum revenue of $968. Okay, and that brings us to part E. What price should be charged to maximize the revenue? Well, let's think about what we've learned so far. We've learned that X was equal to 88, and we've learned that R was equal to 968. So how can we use both of those values to find P? Well, it's actually pretty easy. We just have to remember an equation that we used in the previous video, r equals x times p. Let's write it and then plug into it. r equals x times p. When you know two of the three, you can find the third. r is 968, x is 88, p is what we're trying to solve for. So divide both sides by 88, do the division, 968 divided by 88, and we get 11. So the price that we should charge is $11. Okay, let's put all of this together. When you charge $11, the number of units of the product you will sell is 88, and the amount of money you will bring in is 11 times 88, which is $968. This now concludes parts C, D, and E. We will do part F in the next video.